crack your PTE sitting at your home. Language Academy brings to you the smartest AI-powered practice portal, with instant scores and feedback for all the tasks. Along with the practice questions, access free sectional and full mock tests, and get instant scorecard with in-depth feedback and analysis. For more hidden secrets, tips, strategies, and proven templates, click the link below and subscribe to our video course today. Fake news can distort people's beliefs even after being debunked. For example, repeated over and over, a story such as the one about the Pope endorsing Trump can create a glow around a political candidate that persists long after the story is exposed as fake. A study recently published in the journal Intelligence suggests that some people may have an especially difficult time rejecting misinformation. Scientists have recommended actions the government of Madagascar's recently elected president, Andriy Rajolina, should take to turn around the precipitous decline of biodiversity and help put Madagascar on a trajectory towards sustainable growth. Madagascar's protected areas, some of the most important for biodiversity in the world, have suffered terribly in recent years from illegal mining, logging, and collection of threatened species for the pet trade.
Non-invasive brain stimulation is having its heyday, as scientists and hobbyists alike look for ways to change the activity of neurons without cutting into the brain and implanting electrodes. Next, the researchers wanted to figure out how much current they needed to apply to the human scalp to produce those electrical fields inside the brain. The Royal Institution is an organization that has been around for 209 years. Many of the people that have worked here have been scientists themselves, including Michael Faraday. He made the discoveries that may be generating using electricity much easier, making it possible for us all to switch on lights, cook for dinner, play games consoles much more. Current policy responses do not address the fundamental question of why so many mass shootings take place in schools. To answer this question, we need to get to the heart of how students experience school and the meaning that schools have in American life. While some of these measures seem sensible, overall there is little empirical evidence that such security measures decrease the likelihood of school shootings. For the designers and engineers who spend years crafting Team USA's uniforms to offer both style and extraordinary aerodynamics, the need to keep athletes warm in these extreme temperatures posed an added dimension of difficulty.
research on motivation has suggested that a strong sense of autonomy is the key to developing the healthy self-motivation that allows children and teens to pursue their goals with passion and to enjoy their achievements. But what we see in many of the kids we test or tutor is motivational patterns that are at the extremes of 1, an obsessive drive to succeed and 2, seeing little point in working hard. Hopefully, this will treat and prevent acne and other skin diseases and reduce antibiotic use. Naked Biome is entering clinical trials to see if its approach is safe and effective. Roughly 1 million sexually transmitted infections are exchanged each day. If untreated, they can lead to cervical cancer, pelvic inflammatory disease and infertility. However, people are often reluctant to ask their doctors to test for such infections, so EVE Medical in Toronto developed a kit for women to screen themselves. Normally, if we spin around in an office chair and suddenly stop, we feel like we're still moving. That's because fluid in the inner ear responsible for detecting movement continues to whirl around due to inertia, making your brain think it's still in motion. In this activity you will explore the reaction that creates these tasty, toasty treats and experiment with speeding up and slowing down the process.
The disease model remains dominant in the U.S. because of its stakeholders. First, the rehab industry, worth an estimated $35 billion per year, uses the disease nomenclature in a vast majority of its ads and slogans. Despite consistently low success rates, that's not likely to stop because it pulls in the cash. Second, as long as addiction is labeled a disease, medical insurance providers can be required to pay for it. This flu season is a particularly severe one, and it's not over yet. Health officials say flu activity will likely remain elevated for at least several more weeks. But if you already caught the flu, are you in the clear for the rest of the season? When we put toast in the toaster or add marshmallows to the top of our sweet potatoes for a baked holiday dish we expect them to turn brown and to develop a sweet, caramelized flavor. Although we expect it to happen, do you know why certain foods take on these new colors and flavors as they are toasted? Closure activities allow participants to consolidate learning, say goodbye to group mates, and attend to any unfinished business prior to the ending of the group experience. Generally, these activities involve some reflection upon what has been learned or accomplished during the preceding time together and a sharing of those thoughts or insights with other participants.
This is an extremely useful resource, which ranks books and academic papers on the subject not only in terms of their reliability but also their readability. As a result, it is likely to save students time and effort that would otherwise have been spent working through a lot of dense texts before finding the one they really need. This course provides an introduction to the history and development of the British legal system. Its aim is to describe the evolution of the common law of England, the legal system of England and to introduce you to the study of constitutions as law, and to the legal aspects of constitutional systems of government. Credit unions are non-profit organizations that were imported to the United States from Germany in the early 1900s. They were regulated in 1934 by the Federal Credit Union Act, which limits membership to groups having a common bond of occupation or association. Groups from particular geographical areas also were eligible to join credit unions. It was in 1927, when Mercedes Glitz swam across the English Channel and Rolex became associated with excellence in watch industry. She was wearing an Oyster wristwatch when she accomplished this achievement, fact that ignited the brand value of Rolex for uniting human spirits with endeavor.
There are two main types of market research. Quantitative research involves collecting a lot of information by using techniques such as questionnaires and other forms of survey. Qualitative research involves working with smaller samples of consumers, often asking them to discuss products and services while researchers take notes about what they have to say. Nature offers no greater splendor than the starry sky on a clear, dark night. Silent and jeweled with the constellations of ancient myth and legend, the night sky has inspired wonder throughout the ages, a wonder that leads our imaginations far from the confines of Earth and the pace of present day, out into boundless space and cosmic time itself. The fact is that those different types of services affect many different dimensions of well-being of people. And defining the human well-being is also extremely challenging. However, we identified that there are certain items providing basic material for life, whether it is food, shelter or happiness. There is a tendency, especially in the popular press to concentrate on the negative effects of immigration. In that context, this lecture listing the benefits it brings to more developed nations is much more welcome. Also, it is delivered in a lively and amusing style.
Today, telecommunication is widespread and devices that assist the progress are common in many parts of the world. There is also a vast array of networks that connect these devices, including computer, telephone and cable networks. Computer communication across the Internet, such as email and instant messaging, is just one of many examples of telecommunication. Once you have picked up general topic for your paper, you need to come up with a thesis. Your thesis is the main and focal point of your paper and it's the position you'll take on your particular topic. Formulating a strong thesis is one of the most important things you need to do to ace your paper. Domestication is an evolutionary, rather than a political development. It is certainly not a regime human imposed on animals some 10,000 years ago. Rather, domestication happened when a small handful of especially opportunistic species discovered through Darwinian trial and error and they were more likely to survive and prosper in an alliance with humans than on their own. Who do you think is the most glamorous person? A biotechnologist who led his company in international research, an ordinary welder who gained international fame through his work, or a photographer complimented widely for a series of photos?
the insults and criticism were not unexpected. What was surprising was people's enthusiasm about the competition. Thousands have participated in the discussion. In the photo, the wild cat's huge paws are clamped onto the side of the white safari jeep in which Chappelle was a passenger. Almost as tall as the jeep on her hind legs, she appears to be forcing the muzzle into the back window. Unions take the power out of the employer's hands on many issues. There are examples of cases where workers were engaging in sexual or racial harassment, but were protected by their unions and allowed to keep their jobs. Poor workers and excellent workers often receive the same pay and raises, giving no reason for a person to work harder than necessary at their job. Trade unions originated in Europe during the Industrial Revolution. Because of the machinery that had become commonplace, skilled labor became less in demand so employers had nearly all of the bargaining power. Employers mistreated the workers and paid them too little for the work they did. Trade unions were organized that would help in the improvement of working conditions.
As far as politics go, the responses are just as varied. Mitigation is common and calls for a reduction of emissions and less reliance on fossil fuels. Coal-burning power plants are now replaced with hydraulic power plants and electrical cars are replacing some gasoline-efficient cars. Many people, however, feel that this is not enough. The border itself between Mexico and the United States is fraught with a mix of urban and desert terrain and spans over 1,900 miles. Both the uninhabited areas of the border and urban areas are where the most drug trafficking and illegal crossings take place. Crime is prevalent in urban cities like El Paso, Texas and San Diego, California. A smoking ban is a public policy that includes criminal laws and health regulations that prohibit smoking in certain public places and workspaces. There are varying definitions of smoking employed in this legislation. The strictest definitions define smoking as being the inhalation of any tobacco substance while the loosest define smoking as possessing any lit tobacco product. Another administration option is to bake marijuana at a relatively low temperature to kill any dangerous microorganisms and then allow that patient to eat it or drink it. Both of these methods of administration make smoking the drug unnecessary. However, criticism of medical marijuana has also been raised because as a natural plant, it cannot be patented and marketed by pharmaceutical companies and is unlikely to win widespread medical acceptance.
Unlike the United Kingdom, which has taken a relatively restrictive approach to the possession of arms, the United States has taken a more lenient approach. In the United States, three models have evolved regarding the interpretation of the meaning of the right to bear and keep arms as delineated in the Second Amendment. Free trade is an economic policy under which the government does not interfere with trade. No tariffs are applied to imports or exports, and people are allowed to trade goods and services as they please. Supply and demand dictates the prices for which goods and services sell and are the only factors that determine how resources are allocated in society. Global warming is defined as an increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. This trend began in the middle of the 20th century and is one of the major environmental concerns of scientists and governmental officials worldwide. The changes in temperature result mostly from the effect of increased concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. While the Republican field is packed with male candidates, so far, some of the sharpest Clinton critics have come from women.
The Office of Personnel Management was the target of the attack, but data from nearly every government agency was stolen. U.S. investigators say they believe Chinese hackers were behind the breach. The numbers on U.S. student debt, after all, are truly staggering. The average 2015 U.S. university graduate who took out loans to help pay for tuition enters the workforce with $35,000 in student debt. Three professors from Hamburg University's medical faculty traveled last month to Ingeborg's sitting room in East Berlin to test her on the work she carried out in pre-war Germany. Modern buildings have to achieve certain performance requirements, at least to satisfy those of building codes, to provide a safe, healthy, and comfortable environment. However, these conditioned environments demand resources in energy and materials, which are both limited in supply, to build and operate.
The problem begins with the alphabet itself. Building a spelling system for English using letters that come from Latin, despite the two languages not sharing exactly the same set of sounds, is like building a playroom using an IKEA office set. Welfare has a special political meaning to the United States because it refers to how the poor receives financial aid. In comparison, welfare services are regarded as a universal right in other regions like Europe, where it is believed that all citizens should be able to obtain a minimal level of social support and well-being. We acknowledge all the information and memory notes provided by students. We also acknowledge open source from various books and journal articles. All questions and answers are prepared and annotated by Australian Institute of Language. All rights reserved. Not for any commercial purposes, for personal study only. We have attempted to provide as accurate information as possible to assist all students with the exam preparation. Please note, however, that due to accuracy of the memory, there may be subtle differences in words and phrases. When in actual exams, please carefully read the question before using any of the sample answers.
Yellow is considered as the most optimistic color. Yet surprisingly, people lose their tempers most often in yellow rooms and babies will cry more. The reason may be that yellow is the hardest color for eyes. On the other hand it speeds metabolism and enhances concentration. Think of yellow legal pads and post-it notes. Cheerful sunny yellow is an attention getter. While it is considered an optimistic color, people lose their tempers more often in yellow rooms, and babies will cry more. It is the most difficult color for the eye to take in, so it can be overpowering if overused. Yellow enhances concentration, hence, it is used for legal pads. It also speeds metabolism. Since Plato, philosophers have described the decision-making process as either rational or emotional. We carefully deliberate or we, blink, and go with our gut. But as scientists break open the mind's black box with the latest tools of neuroscience, they're discovering that this is not how the mind works. Our best decisions are a finely tuned blend of both feeling and reason, and the precise mix depends on the situation. Moods may also have an effect on how information is processed, by influencing the extent to which judges rely on pre-existing, internal information, or focus on new, external information. Positive moods promote more holistic and top-down processing style, while negative moods recruit more stimulus-driven and bottom-up processing.
the brain is divided into two hemispheres, called the left and right hemispheres. Each hemisphere provided a different set of functions, behaviors, and controls. The right hemisphere is often called the creative side of the brain, while the left hemisphere is the logical or analytical side of brain. Introvert, or those of us with introverted tendencies, tends to recharge by spending time alone. They lose energy from being around people for long periods of time, particularly large crowds. Extroverts, on the other hand, gain energy from other people. Extroverts actually find their energy is sapped when they spend too much time alone. They recharge by being social. The most important issue is concerned with the problem of funding. Social services receive different donations or grants from the government. However, these sums are not sufficient for the solution of all problems. The second most important issue is huge spending. The money social services achieve is not enough for normal functioning. The third problem affecting human services is the lack of skilled and experienced employee. Therefore, the working unions in modern society are not very important. They preserve their functions only in the underdeveloped countries. On the contrary, in the developed states, workers refuse to join the unions, preferring individual work. Thus, working unions cannot survive the assault of modern economic trends and slowly move to a complete decline. Their initial purposes have little to do with the hectic pace of modern life.
The Southerners did not accept Lincoln as a president because of certain reasons, based on historical grounds. Southerners wished to protect their rights in the government and become more independent from the North. They considered president elections to be unfair. Moreover, they thought that their own rights will be ignored and limited. All this caused the separation of the southern states and marked the beginning of a civil war. On practice, M. Kent tries to develop a worldwide campaign in order to expand the scope of activities and invite new customers. He tries to spread the Coca-Cola production throughout the globe in order to achieve a good place on the global market. Moreover, he always pays attention to the work of the competitors in order to remain on top. Finally, M. Kent knows how to organize the work within the company and motivate employees to do their best. Intangible assets perform a number of distinctive functions in the life of each company. Firstly, they witness the prosperity of the firm and its good name. Such a position allows human resource management to employ professional workers and increase the labor productivity. Moreover, intangible assets guarantee future value of the firm and although it is difficult to destroy intangible assets, they can lose their importance in case of carelessness or business failure. The Ford Company provides plenty of opportunities for its employees. It guarantees not only comfortable and appropriate working conditions, but also many other advantages. Therefore, becoming a part of the Ford Motor Company is always profitable and beneficial. Moreover, it is important to mention that Ford Motors provides its employees with effective and useful services and takes care of their well-being.
Another virtue that both propagate is that the present is meant to be enjoyed to the fullest. It is no use fretting about the past for it cannot be undone or overturned and no use pondering too much, about the future it remains unseen. The day being thought about may never dawn on you. The ultimate service however, remains, the one done for your fellow men. In 2016, the world's largest ever data leak dubbed the Panama Papers exposed a scandal, uncovering a vast global network of people, including celebrities and world leaders, who used offshore tax havens, anonymous transactions through intermediaries and shell corporations to hide their wealth, grow their fortunes and avoid taxes. Thus language acquisition might be like other biological functions. The linguistic clumsiness of tourists and students might be the price we pay for the linguistic genius we displayed as babies, just as the decrepitude of age is the price we pay for the vigor of youth. Closure activities allow participants to consolidate learning, say goodbye to group mates, and attend to any unfinished business prior to the ending of the group experience. Generally, these activities involve some reflection upon what has been learned or accomplished during the preceding time together and a sharing of those thoughts or insights with other participants.
This is an extremely useful resource, which ranks books and academic papers on the subject not only in terms of their reliability but also their readability. As a result, it is likely to save students time and effort that would otherwise have been spent working through a lot of dense texts before finding the one they really need. This course provides an introduction to the history and development of the British legal system. Its aim is to describe the evolution of the common law of England, the legal system of England and to introduce you to the study of constitutions as law, and to the legal aspects of constitutional systems of government. The term supernova was coined in the 1930s by a memorably odd astrophysicist named Fritz Zwicky. Born in Bulgaria and raised in Switzerland, Zwicky came to the California Institute of Technology in the 1920s and there has once distinguished himself by his abrasive personality and erratic talents. He didn't seem to be outstandingly bright, and many of his colleagues considered him little more than an irritating buffoon. Some people are at higher risk of developing obesity because they possess genetic variants that affect how the brain processes sensory information and regulates feeding and behavior. The findings support a growing body of evidence that obesity is a disease whose roots are in the brain.
people who attended religious services at least once a week were significantly less likely to die from deaths of despair, including deaths related to suicide, drug overdose, and alcohol poisoning, according to new research. Global water consumption has increased almost fourfold in the past 100 years, and many regions can only meet their water demand thanks to essential contributions from mountain regions. In 30 years, almost a quarter of the world's lowland population will strongly depend on runoff from the mountains. Only sustainable development can ensure the important function of mountain areas as Earth's water towers. Just how stressed are teachers? A recent Gallup poll found teachers are tied with nurses for the most stressful occupation in America today. Unfortunately, that stress can have a trickle-down effect on their students, leading to disruptive behavior that results in student suspensions. A new study comprehensively reveals how civil wars impact wildlife in countries affected by conflict. Researchers found that the main impacts of civil wars on native mammals are often indirect, ultimately arising from institutional and socio-economic changes, rather than from direct military tactics.
The United States is at present the world's market for motor cars and trucks. An agent for the U.S. Bureau of Foreign and Domestic Commerce reports a prosperous condition of affairs prevailing in Japan, which is buying more automobiles, especially large cars, than ever before. Researchers have developed electronic blood vessels that can be actively tuned to address subtle changes in the body after implantation. The blood vessels, made of a metal, polymer conductor membrane that's flexible and biodegradable, mimic natural blood vessels, were conductive in vitro experiments, and were able to effectively replace key arteries in rabbits. Killer cosmic rays from nearby supernovae could be the culprit behind at least one mass extinction event, researchers said, and finding certain radioactive isotopes in Earth's rock record could confirm this scenario. Scientists studying brain scans of people who were asked to come up with inventive uses for everyday objects found a specific pattern of connectivity that correlated with the most creative responses. Researchers were then able to use that pattern to predict how creative other people's responses would be based on their connections in this network.
Women who deliver their first child by caesarean section C section are less likely to conceive a second child than those who deliver vaginally, despite being just as likely to plan a subsequent pregnancy according to Penn State College of Medicine researchers. The team followed more than 2,000 women for free three years after they delivered their first child. The coronavirus pandemic has shifted many of our interactions online, with Zoom video calls replacing in-person classes, work meetings, conferences and other events. Will all the screen time damage our vision? Maybe not. It turns out that our visual perception is highly adaptable according to research from psychology professor and cognitive and brain science coordinator Peter Gerhardstein's lab at Binghamton University. There are two types of market research. Quantitative research involves collecting a lot of information by using techniques such as questionnaires and other forms of survey. Qualitative research involves working with smaller samples of consumers, often asking them to discuss products and services while researchers take notes about what they have to say. We all know about bacteria, viruses and microscopic protozoa. We can watch the way that these tiny agents move into our bodies and damage our organs. We have a growing understanding of how our body mounts defensive strategies that fight off these invaders, and have built some clever chemical that can help mount as assault on these biovillians.
While far fewer people these days write letters and therefore have less use for stamps, there are still a few categories of stamp which attract collectors. Stamps in common use for an indefinite period, until the price goes up, are called definitive issues, while a more collectible type of stamp is the commemorative issue, honoring people, events and anniversaries. It is important to note that saving is not the same as investment. Saving is about cash, while investment is about real product. The difference is important because money, being liquid, can leak out of the economic system, which it does when someone who is putting aside unspent income kept under the mattress.